Hey guys, Barry here and welcome back to IGS and welcome to an early hands-on with Smile Basic 4 for the Nintendo Switch. Now, a massive, massive thank you to Smilebloom for this exclusive early hands-on. So welcome to Smile Basic 4. I'm a famous professor in the Smile Basic area. You may call me Doc. So what's cool is you can use your mouse and your keyboard with this game. See? How cool is that? I'll give you a brief instruction about the screen for Smile Basic 4 beginners. You can press A button of your Joy-Con to start the instruction. If you're a Smile Basic master and don't need to, uh, the instructions, press X of your Joy-Con to skip it. You can quit the guide anytime pressing B. So I haven't a clue, so... I wonder, can you press A on the keyboard? No, you can't. Okay, let me give you a brief... Uh, a belief explanation. <laughs> a brief explanation, okay, okay. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, sorry. First of all, if you just want to play with uh, other people's works, press here. Oh yeah, guys, just before we go on, just uh, some quick details on the game, right? So... Let's see, what have we got here? Yeah. I can't actually access any servers, if I'm correct, because I need to upload stuff and download stuff, you need uh, tickets, so... Oh, sorry, you can access, if you want to upload, you need tickets, of course. But you can download, you can only download uh, one work every eight hours without a server ticket. You can't upload and publish your work without a server usage ticket. Okay. So this will be fun, guys, when, you know, with the pandemic, everything going on, kids and parents want to learn how to program, and, you know, in games and stuff. This is it for you. Use the directional buttons to move the yellow frame and press A button or plus button. I'll explain more details once you choose it. Choose it later. Next is here. If you, uh, you, you can do sorts of things in here like make copies or delete or rename programs that you made. You can also uh, upload your wonderful programs to public here. I'll explain here, okay. So my basic, okay, you can customize the keyboard. Nice. Okay, so we have a favorites page. Okay. Well, at least we get the beginner's guide in this game, which is pretty handy. So I'm guessing this is kind of similar to, is it Fuse 4 on Switch? That's the correct name for it. Okay. So there we go, we can use the keyboard. Use the mouse here. So beginner's guide. Hey. <laughs> Just, can you use any of the buttons here at the keyboard? No, you can't. No. Oh. <laughs> the music. Nice one, let's get started. Okay, so... We'll 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Let's do our first command. Get okay, a direct mode. Yeah, so this is like my second video I've uploaded today. I guess, I guess about programming. <laughs> but this one is a little more advanced, perhaps, because we're actually doing the code. The other one's more like a puzzle-esque game, which is pretty cool. Liked it a lot. So tired. <laughs> yeah, so this game actually uses touch screen controls as well, which is very handy. Yes. The hell? Oh, what the hell happened there? No, don't do that. settings here wait so are these only videos something Print what? Wait, can I use the keyboard? Weird. Maybe it's dead, that's why. The battery's in it. No wonder there's no batteries in it. 
me going, why isn't it working? Okay, weird. Dropping everything now. So basically, when you do print brackets brat, you know, open bracket, close bracket, it'll print the word brat on the screen. Zero, is it? Confused, what does want me to do? Is it vibrate? I'm so confused, literally. I didn't know what I wanted us to do. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so what's cool about this here as well, you can correct, you can design stuff, like images and that. Check out samples anyway. Let's check it out, will we? Yeah. Look at this. So you, you can design all this in this game. Thank <laughs> you. 
can't attack now. Traders anywhere. So console demo you can change this as well. Okay. Oh, okay. You can check out sprites in that. Let's give this a go, will we? Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, we can't even. We can't even buy the damn thing. I guess we just gotta make our own. Make a program. Wow. So it can be very intimidating, I must say. You know, if you're new to all this. Toycon demo. Oh, so you can use the uh How the hell do we get out of here? <laughs> okay, we can do video as well. There's our mouse, that's cool. Shit. <laughs> I know this video is a disaster right now. What the hell? Okay. Let's go back into it. It's a lot easier. I'm sorry, I know this wasn't the greatest video, I'll admit it myself. It's good that we can edit stuff there.
But we should have been able to actually create stuff. At least we can check out the official website. I wonder, is it English or Japanese? Hmm. Okay. See graphics here, we can... Hmm. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted. Now we can draw stuff. So we can change the color. Let's see, uh... How do we? Oh, hold on. I keep forgetting that we have a mouse. That's clear. No. Okay, that's just black here. This is a pen. So we can save this. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah, so then we can import that file when we're doing the program and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, that's... Like I said, I know this is the worst example. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, if you're a lot more advanced with this than I am, please do get this game. As you can see, there's a lot of content. This, this game is pretty much, you know, endless on Switch. So massive thank you as well to Smile uh, Boom for this hands-on. You can, of course, check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and for more Nintendo and Indies, keep it right here at IGS. Alright guys, see you soon.